guys uh, my name is vela idam uh, so today we will be again looking at a uh, trip uh, so uh, trip is similar to beef exercise framework uh, but the thing is there are certain disadvantages uh, uh, when it comes to trip uh, okay uh, before going into the disadvantages and advantages uh, let us speak like what trip it do trip in trip your location uh, but the location isn't pinpoint uh, like the tool seeker uh, hope you saw that video or else I'll be showing it uh, and um, it just gives you a little bit uh, location from your IP address and not much and then uh, for example like if you are logged into link then Amazon or the, any Facebook website once you click the link it will show you hey boss this particular person is in the session etc etc uh, so I have left uh, linked and logged in uh, the virtual machine as well just to show and yeah it also does some phishing attacks and, and you can do uh, some you can also uh, try to execute a file from your computer uh, to on the victim machine etc mm, okay uh, so this is how uh, uh, trip works and you guys can download it i know i hope you guys uh, know how to download the tools from github it's just like you just get clone and once you see the python file if it is going to ask for permission just give it chmod and if you just follow these steps you should be fine with the kali linux and they also have a how, uh, how to use it so i have already downloaded trip okay so let me just try python trip minus h help so minus u i just like give it like a https uh, kind of what do you say okay linkedin.com and the port would be 80 since i want like 8080 popping up on the uh, victim's computer so before that uh, i hope you guys uh, saw the video on beef framework how to configure ng rock etc so it's uh, it's quite easy uh, you just have to like uh, i bought a domain uh, from uh, freenome and and i have ng rock premium edition but 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 this works in free edition as well so i just bought a domain name like uh, uh, signed in linkedin account.tk uh, extension uh, ends with tk and you can see um, we just have minus minus over here uh, so usually people uh, never give a damn about the dot kind of thing so uh, but but still and it's uh, it just gave me a c name which i just have to go to my domain provider and i just have to add the record uh, c name this particular c name over there so which i have already done it uh, in case if you want to know how i did it like you can go back to my uh, uh, beef xss framework video uh, to see how i did it so okay since we have downloaded it so and let me just start in jrock and kindly please make sure like you have disabled your apache services it's uh, simple compound service uh, and apache space apache to stop and um, make sure no services you usually get because uh, since we need the port 80 to be free at the moment uh, for the trip to use it so start and it's all okay great so it's connecting so i got my url this is the url which i want the victim i want the victim to see so you can see it uh, signed in linkedin com account dot tk dot ng rock dot io so if you just look closely at the url you should be able to identify that it's a phishing link uh, this tool can be useful for the beginners uh, uh, but not for the intermediates or the experts because obviously they should be able to understand uh, now this particular URL is a phishing URL uh, so okay since NG rock is running let me just go ahead and do the trip okay here trip says hey boss this is your control panel link and okay let me just open it so I can see it it's working in the local host so now what I need is I need my this URL over here okay so what I would do is I would draw the copy paste and please do look over here 
please do not change the directory over here if you miss this particular directory you will not be able to sign in so okay trap is now online that's a good thing and even if you guys uh, want it to be like secured you can use the port number over here instead of port number uh, 80 you could simply use uh, 443 uh, because uh, ng rock supports uh, HTTPS as well, so that's a good thing. Okay, so let me just sign into my control panel. Okay, great. Uh, so, uh, like I said to you guys before, I, I just like uh, 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 I already have a LinkedIn profile at the VB machine logged in uh, just to see like how, how good is uh, this particular tool. Okay, so the load the victim. So I'll just put that particular URL already. And, oh, oh my god. Okay, this is my URL. And I just have to copy, paste, and let me just look for the victim URL and it's just linkedin.com at the end. So let me just put linkedin.com. So if you have done everything properly, it should work no issues. Okay here I have a link run over here that's sweet okay and I can also see okay it looks similar to LinkedIn but uh, yeah it looks similar to LinkedIn all the images etc etc yeah I'm not sure like whether these language and other stuff work let's see okay it's just language let me try Tamil don't we have Tamil over here that's sad uh, what about Hindi? Nope. I'm not sure how Hindi works, so please uh, pardon me. Let me put Portuguese and see. Yeah, read on the side. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, still it just goes to English as well. So let's see whether the kid is. What happens with kid is? Yeah, it, it simply redirects me to the real link then which I don't want to go. Okay, let me just go back back here. Yeah. Okay, so most of the URL which is cloned uh, so for the username and password most should be like but but this looks like a real URL but the only thing we miss over here is an HTTP circuit connection. So usually uh, uh, noobs can fall for it. I'm not sure about intermediates and experts, they won't for sure. Okay and also like uh, usually even some intermediates might fall for it because they just look for the hint for the linkedin.com and if they miss the ng rock i uh, probably they will okay that's great okay i can see a victim from 183 that's me okay so we have uh, so this identifier is b3080 it's his third time okay that's great okay b3 Zero eight two over here. So it says Chrome Windows. Okay, that's fine. Okay, since like I have already logged into the LinkedIn, do we have a LinkedIn over here? No. Okay, that's bad. Okay, it's Facebook, Twitter. No, 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 no. no. Uh, that's bad. Uh, I'm not sure. Like. Uh, I have a fake Facebook account but uh, that account is not able to load it so I'll just leave it for now uh, okay so this is a link run okay fine so what uh, I can see it as one core windows okay act fiber net India thumbnail okay great so latitude and longitude push and puts me over here which is in but that's not my particular address so it just gets my IP address uh, so not much okay let me try to create a lot here bro something like that okay I got it and it says hey bro okay hi bro and let us try uh, insert the link to redirect I'll just do that at the last because I don't want to miss this particular page so I want to fish https www.linkedin.com because that's what I am signed in over there. Let me see what it says. Okay, it's redirecting me so simple. Some other page. That's fine. 
okay i already have the password saved over here show all saved passwords that's fine uh, guys don't try to sign in because it's already connected to a phone number you wouldn't be able to okay so i don't mind you guys seeing it just a simple password so okay sign in changes you made may not be saved yeah please leave the site okay okay it shows i have signed it and let's check the particular okay oh well, here you can see the email address that's some random email address and here you see your password of mana 23 okay that's fine okay it's logging me in uh, but i don't want to be logged in at the moment so i just want to go back to the fishing page also ah, come on Uh, the victim has closed the session like if you can see it over here uh, that's because it just redirected me to the real website uh, uh, probably if i am not signed into it uh, maybe uh, i wouldn't be able to sign into it so okay again i'm back p3082 okay that will be the same one so let's execute a file i think i should be having exe or it's no problem let's just work um, okay, silly dot slash desktop, please. Thank you. So, over here, let me just type MSF console. I'm not sure we have an error with this. Let me just check generate minus D exe minus F flash by error update dot exe. There is no space, yes. Thank you, NSR. And here comes your payload and handle dot rc i'm just like uh, doing it since like these two machines on the or on the same network uh, i can simply like uh, give the command like a uh, slash root and slash desktop and the file name which is about to be created that would be like a flash player uh, update dot exe or else i could also uh, upload it to any uh, file hosting websites uh, which enables direct link uh, uh, direct link is like once you click on that link automatically the exe or whatever the file you try to access will be uh, downloading uh, when you click on other links uh, what happens is you uh, it just it will ask you it will prompt you with a button asking you hey boss can you please download this particular file so that's the difference between okay okay Okay, as you can see, the file name over here it's DH handler, and I'm not sure why it didn't work. So, but still, you can work it out like this resource. So, I'll just uh, rename it for me to copy the file name correctly. Let me see, payload, and okay, I have two D's over here, so that's the reason the file didn't work out that's bad so as you can see it has created my okay uh, the reason uh, because it's connecting is I just hacked that particular machine so what I would do with sessions yes so minus K which should just like, give all the sessions I just want to check whether the jobs I'm not sure that's not a persistent session but I don't think I have closed that particular thing okay just to prove you guys like it works uh, from your own machine itself but but make sure like you, you guys are in the same network or it is not going to work and slash flash not sure what is the file name let me check again i apologize flash player update.exe yep yes let me send it oh my god oh my god okay i can see it right in the okay okay this is something okay i re i literally forgot about this okay what i should do now is i just have to uh, move this particular file uh, to the trip folder 
Uh -huh. Just give me a minute. Uh, okay, uh, let me see. I can move from here. Okay, it's in desktop, so I just want the flash, flash player to uh, root slash trip. Slash. I'm not sure what is there. There is a folder. I think it should be static. Yes, static files. Yes, so I'm just going to move that particular file and I'm just going to type its name. So, what happens is it just picks up from that particular folder in spite of us not being within the network. Okay, you can see it, it just popped up. Uh, let me just try it again and just discard this one uh, just so quick. Okay, do you see it? You just got it directly from the van so th this is something uh, since my chrome is blogging because i haven't encoded or uh, done any uh, things to evade the anti virus even the basic ones mm. so that's all with the trick for now okay and i just wanted them to be redirect uh, okay i also wanted you guys to show you like uh, what are all the websites it can fish from uh, because w w what this particular tool does is uh, com. okay what this particular tool does is uh, it's cloning any website which I which you give uh, that, that uh, because I just checked it okay okay I'm not able to redirect to Soho because I tried to redirecting to my website which is Twin Tech Solutions I was able to do it so that is the reason I was not the redirect uh, I was able to fish okay I'm not sure like what's the problem hey boys what are so the things which you see the internal error and the other things uh, are uh, these are the scenarios which you will come across when you try on the uh, real website or uh, for example these are all like uh, real time scenarios you will be having these troubles now you can see Zoho you can clearly see it's a Zoho but it's a phishing link because I tried uh, on similar websites for example let me try it on my own website it's cloning the website so that's just a good thing about this tool so you don't have to like work on anything so let me see if it is able to clone fintech solutions so but but, uh, but you can see all the images and other things are missing that's because the because of the complexity of the website and these websites are not used in time okay so this is all i wanted to see and you can also like redirect it to any website of your choice so that's all about the trip guys have fun be responsible bye bye